guys in front of you is a 2020 Honda HRV with 1,000 miles. Now, the Honda HRV was introduced in North America in 2015 and has had one generation since then. This is still the current first generation. Now, this HRV in specific is equipped with a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine, which is 141 horsepower. And in the hierarchy of the Honda SUVs, the HRV is the smallest below the compact uh, CRV and then the full mid size Honda Pilot. Now, in this video, I'll be taking you around the Honda HRV, showing off its characteristics and features, taking it for a drive, and seeing where it falls on the limitless evaluation scale. Stay tuned. So assessing the side profile of the Honda HRV, the HRV, like I've always considered to be kind of snow globe-ish in shape. Uh, essentially, it's kind of just like an elevated hatchback in a way with a, a taller ride height. Um, I feel like its direct competitor is the Toyota CHR, which is a kind of a similar spunky style raised hatchback in the subcompact SUV category, which is growing incessantly. One thing that's kind of cool too about the exterior of the HRV, as you can see, you have a very typical door handle on the driver's side doors, but for the rear, uh, for the rear doors, um, the door handle is right here to open the door. So you have to slide your hand into this little kind of cubby to open the door in the back of the HRV. Kind of a cool little styling point of this vehicle. Kind of adds to the slightly less than typical styling of this vehicle, but it's a nice little additive to the HRV. I also like the exterior headlight design of the HRV, as you can see here. You have this large circular light on the right side matched with the blinker on the right side. And it's almost um, kind of a, a weird shaped bulb, almost kind of like a cone shape from the far left side, giving a bit of a cool exterior look to the headlights matching the unique hood lines of the HRV. And one other exterior feature on the HRV, as you can see, are these five spoke wheels. Uh, it's a pretty simple design. These are the wheels you get on the base model of the HRV. As you work through the hierarchy of the HRV models or the uh, HRV trims, when you have to like put the higher, just like the touring, uh, touring trim, you get some slightly sportier looking wheels with a bit of a more aggressive uh, touch to them. But nonetheless, even on the base model, Honda gives you a very nice exterior wheel design with the five spoke wheels. So this is the trunk space in the 2020 Honda HRV. As you can see here, we have some amenities in the trunk already. And as you can see, there's still an abundance of space right here in case you want to store items with like a suitcase, a briefcase, whatever it may be, sports bags. Nonetheless, so if you want to two to get more storage, there is a 60-40 split. Simply pull these latches on either side to drop the seats in case you want to haul some larger items, maybe like a chair, some other furniture in the back of your HRV. Now that we've seen all the exterior features of the Honda HRV, it is now time to move into the interior. So moving to the interior of the 2020 Honda HRV, as you can see here, it's a very simple instrument cluster in the front of the vehicle. As you can see here on the left side, you have your tachometer, you have your speedometer, and your odometer on the right side of the instrument cluster. One thing that's kind of cool too that I love in every Honda, I mentioned this in both of the Civics that I reviewed from this generation, I really like Honda's um, bar readout on the fuel gauge and the MPG gauge. It's a little hard to see right now, but as you can see, there are a bunch of little bars to read out your fuel level on the bottom. As you can see, it's a full tank, so it's not as easy to see. And on top of this little gauge, you can see this is the MPG gauge. We are currently at zero because we are parked right now. When we're going down the highway, this gauge will fluctuate to give you your most precise MPG. Pretty cool little uh, touch on the interior gauge cluster of the HRV. So moving to the center screen in the 2020 Honda HRV, um, this is the LX trim, so this is not a touch screen as you can see by you know touching it nothing happens um i believe in the touring trim like like the very highest trim maybe the second highest trim i believe that might come with a touch screen I, I don't know for sure though but i will clarify that in the description below 
nonetheless though if you want a bare bones nice simple screen this is a vehicle for you um, as you can see here your radio button gives you radio options um, you can do am fm media it, um, this car does not have apple carplay but it does have bluetooth which is a pretty nice feature if you want to hook up your phone play some songs that you like just hit this media button hook up your phone very simple the phone button itself you can use to pair your phone and these buttons right here will control your sound systems um to continue with the interior though um there's not a lot of settings you can play with but if you want some you can adjust the clock these buttons are now when you have your phone connected and you have music playing and then there is a settings option there's not a lot of features in the settings option as well you can change the language if you want the clock format or one thing that's kind of cool as you can see the theme of this car or the color of this car the, the color theme of this car pardon me is currently in the very uh, traditional honda blue but honda gives you three different color options if you want to change that you can go with a nice sporty red color a more more of a brown color it's called amber but it seems more brown to me but if you want kind of a bronzy brown color you can you uh, roll with that or if you want to just have a nice simple black and white look you can go with gray personally i like the blue and red the best but if you want to mix it up in your honda hrv honda lets you do so um aside from that there's not a, a ton of features you can kind of play with it's all very basic stuff so if you want a little bit of technology but not um not you know over the top with a high-end touch screen just very subtle little features the hrv lx is a great option to consider for you so assessing the comfort and seat quality um honda equips you with their nice gray cloth interior um, overall, though, the, the uh, cloth seats are pretty comfortable, um, pretty smooth material. It is brand new, so the seats are a little bit stiffer than one that is broken into, obviously. But overall, you got some side bolstering right here, some back bolstering, a nice little headrest. Overall, I mean, not um, you know, an insane high-end leather seat that you're going to get in a Mercedes-Benz S-Class or anything, but still a pretty comfortable seat with a good size to match the HRV, slightly larger than a uh, coupe size, but still... A decent comfortably seat in the interior of the hrv so moving to the center stack of the 2020 honda hrv as you can see here as I mentioned before you have all of your screen settings right here if you move directly below that you can see you have a very large area for your airflow settings um, instead of having like direct uh, numbers like you do in some cars that give you the exact temperature you have your nice old-fashioned bar readout you have four different fan speed settings and you have a bunch of ways you can uh, configure the airflow in this vehicle as well. Below that, you can see you have an AC button, you have your defrosters, pretty basic stuff. Below this, you have your gear lever. Um, you have a sport mode, kind of cool little quirk that you might not expect to have in the HRV. Below this, you have your automatic parking brake and a brake hold button, which is becoming more and more abundant in modern cars. Uh, for those of you who don't know a brake hold button, um, say you're at a red light or a stop light and you don't actually want to keep your foot on the brake for the entire time. The brake hold button will hold the brake for you while you're stopped, so it gives you a bit of a more simplistic and easier driving experience. Below this, you have a little bit of a storage pouch that's exposed, and right below you this little open storage pouch, you have a center console um center console is relatively deep it's got this nice kind of leatherish material and it's an overall very simplistic and nicely styled center stack to the hrv and one other cool little feature on the hrv as you can see this storage cubby is actually a cup holder there are two cup holders you can see here um if you put uh, press your thumb and we don't have a cup right now but if you like press your thumb and as you can see this is meant for the cups to go through and have a bit of a deeper uh, space in case you need it and as you can see here on either side you have these little buttons that will open up these little cup holders so in case you have a smaller drink or just a little item you want to put right here it can fasten it right here in between instead of using both of the larger cup holders if you, want, you don't want this item or drink to be rolling around the cup holders kind of cool so moving to the rear seats of the 2020 Honda HRV, as you can see here, I'm about five foot ten. I stretch my legs out. I got a pretty decent amount of leg room. Granted, the front seat is pushed uh, kind of far um, up, but nonetheless, say so you have a crew to haul, got some passengers in the back seat. The HRV will fit you pretty comfortably. There's a good amount of leg room, and it's just a very for a smaller car. I mean, there's honestly a decent amount of headroom, not like a ton, but more than you might expect in a kind of slopey. Uh, looking car. Nonetheless, uh, um, the seat quality is the same as the um, front seats with the nice gray cloth. Um, there's no um, little foldable armrest or cup holders that you, like you get in most other cars, but it's not a big deal. 
Um, you have a center seat, it's a smaller one in case you need it for maybe a child or another passenger if need be. And it's an overall um, pretty comfortable seat, pretty good leg room, and um, just a nice simple back seat to the HRV. So from my perspective now in the back of the 2020 HRV, as I said before, I got a decent amount of leg room. Seats pushed a little bit far, far forward, but nonetheless, I still have a good amount of leg room, even if it was pushed a little further back. As you can see, there's still some room to, to give. Nonetheless, though, aside from just the basic back seat features, as you can see, one thing that's kind of cool, you have a little cup holder back here in case you have a large cup to store, and you also have a 12-volt outlet in case you want to charge your phone or whatever uh, needs to be charged back here. Aside from that, I mean, there's not many other features. The only thing I can think of, you got a big speaker right here on either door, uh, on either side of the door. You also have another cup holder for both of the passengers. I'm assuming this one is more intended for the middle seat rear passenger in case you have one. But nonetheless, just a very simple and comfortable back seat to the HRV. Alrighty, so getting behind the wheel of the 2020 Honda HRV. Um, first thing that you notice, one thing that I noticed, like, is my first, one of my first reactions in the HRV. It's slightly taller than you might think when you're actually behind the wheel, but by no means is it tall. Like, it's not, you know, as large as, you know, a Pilot, maybe an X3 or a Toyota Highlander necessarily, but it's still a, a slightly larger or higher ride height than you might think it would be. Um... Overall, the pep of this vehicle, it, it's pretty decent. It's got a pretty good getup. Uh, for having only a 1.8 liter four-cylinder and 141 horsepower, it's got more pep than you might expect it to have. Um, overall, though, I mean, the one thing, I mean, I, I, I've driven the HRV more than once. This is my very first time driving the HRV. Uh, the one thing I've noticed before, um, don't get me wrong, I mean, I know it's, it's still an SUV, but it's very maneuverable for a subcompact SUV, which is kind of what this car is intended to be, or to, intended to have. Um, you know, if you're going around like in a tighter area, say you're in a city, say you got some tight turns to make, it's not gonna be cumbersome to make those maneuvers like you would be maybe in a pilot or a larger SUV or even a pickup truck for that sake. It's very easy to kind of maneuver in any direction you might wanna be in. Um, and overall, I mean, this vehicle, um, it, it's, it's, it's kind of intended for people who are maybe on the fence about buying a sedan or buying an SUV and kind of wants the closest little mix one can get of this. And honestly, like, I've never been a huge crossover person, but personally, I kind of like the HRV, actually. It's a very simple car to drive. It's smooth. It's comfortable. You, it, it kind of... Uh, it, you don't feel the bumps that you might take in like a smaller car sometimes you know when you're sometimes when you're in a really small car like you're in a hatchback a little little maybe like a tinier sedan maybe even like a sports coupe you kind of feel the bumps and stuff and in the hrv it kind of it kind of suppresses all those bumps you really don't feel a lot uh the road noise is a little bit loud because granted this is a very affordable vehicle i think you can probably buy one of these in the lower uh, lower 20s if I'm correct with a decent amount of packages, which is also a pretty good deal for those who are in the market for a cheaper subcompact SUV. But um, road noise is a bit, little bit louder than usual. You can kind of hear that four cylinder kind of um, roaring while you're flooring it. But overall though, it's a very, the best way I can honestly describe this driving experience is it, it, it's pleasant. It's not in your face. You're not gonna be flying down the road in this thing. It's not a speed demon per se. But if you watch, it's a very simple, maneuverable car with a slightly higher uh, uh, ride height than, you know, your standard Civic or maybe an Accord. The HRV delivers this for you, and clearly people want this as sales has been pretty steady. So it's an overall nice driving vehicle. It's pretty simple to maneuver, and it's a very simplistic car, which, is hot, which Honda um, aims for, and clearly they've delivered on that. So props to Honda on their part. It is now time for the interview section, which answer five generic questions one would ask when going to purchase a vehicle. Question number one of the interview section is, what is my favorite feature about the 2020 Honda HRV? That is the overall driving experience. As I said, this is, provides one of the simplest and most just like comfortable, simple, like, like, like just enjoyable driving experiences. It's not riveting, it's not exhilarating, but if you want just a nice, relaxed, enjoyable driving experience, that is what the HRV delivers. Question number two of the interview section is what is my least favorite feature about the Honda HRV, and that would be the overall infotainment screen. Oh, don't get me wrong, I know this is the LX trim, I know this is the base model, but even on most base trims, they're not this bare bones. Like even in most 
uh, other base models in 2020. Most cars provide you with even a touch screen, even if it might be tiny, it's usually still a touch screen at least. And most of them will have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto for whatever phone provider you have. But um, not, not the worst thing to knock on, but just a little bit too bare bones on a base trim in my opinion. But not a huge thing, not a terrible feature to have in the HRV. Question number three of the interview section is what is the most unique or weirdest feature about the 2020 Honda HRV? That would be the rear door handle. As you can see here, you kind of have a little slot to put your hand in, kind of a hidden door handle, open it up, and then you can get into the back of the HRV. A very kind of a cool little touch on a rather simpler car, but just a nice little touch for the, the most unique feature. Question number four of the interview section is, is the 2020 Honda HRV worth its value? And I would say yes, this is a pretty simple question. You can uh, land one of these brand new for like 20, 20 to 30 grand, depending on how many bells and whistles and what trim you want. But for an LX trim, you can get this for a little over $20,000. It's pretty affordable for a, not a, a huge car, but you got a decent amount of car for that money. Um, it's a Honda, it's reliable, you know, it's your very typical, practical, subcompact SUV. So yes, I would say it's worth its value. And question number five of the interview section is would I ever want or own the Honda HRV? And the answer is no. Whilst it's a very nice car and very practical and simple, um, I would not personally want to own one myself. Um, no disrespect to it, it's a fine car, but just I personally wouldn't want to own one myself. Now we've evaluated the Honda HRV's characteristics and features, time to see where it falls on the limitless evaluation scale. Before I begin, I'd like to thank my friend Eric for helping me film the video of the HRV. Now on with the scoring. Starting with the exterior, the HRV is a decent looking car, but not breathtaking or gorgeous, earning a 4 out of 10. Interior of the HRV is nice, having a simple, roomy layout, earning a 6 out of 10. Road trip on the HRV is adequate for its class, the cloth seats are fine, being reasonably comfortable for a commuter road trip earning a 5 out of 10. MPG on the HRV is strong, having a combined estimated MPG of 31 miles per gallon, good enough for a 7 out of 10 on the MPG scale. Storage on the HRV is also solid, having a maximum storage capacity of 58.8 cubic feet with all the seats folded down, earning a 7 out of 10 for storage. Character on the HRV is poor, these are pretty basic compact crossover, earning a 2 out of 10 for character. Which on the HRV is alright, as one could ask for better tech, a touch screen, and leather seats. Granted, this is the LX trim, but nonetheless, it earns a 6 out of 10 for wishlist. Handling on the HRV is fine. These are easily maneuverable due to their small size. There isn't a ton of body roll either, and I honestly thought the HRV drove well, earning a 5 out of 10 for handling. Excitement for the HRV is poor. This is your ordinary, everyday Honda crossover, earning a 1 out of 10 for excitement. Stupidity in the HRV is good, as there aren't many abnormal flaws with this vehicle, earning an 8 out of 10 for stupidity. Pricing of the HRV is great is you can land a base trim HRV for a little over 20 grand. For that money, you're getting a fuel-efficient compact SUV with adequate storage and a pleasant driving experience. Pair that with Honda's great reliability, and earns a 9 out of 10 for price. Engine response in the HRV is alright, as 1.8 liter 4 cylinder produces decent power for its class, earning a 5 out of 10 for engine responsiveness. And overall, many in the HRV is alright. For a minimalist, this car is perfect, as it provides pretty bare bones tech for a 2020 vehicle, but if that's what you're looking for, then this car is perfect for you. If you don't mind the simpler tech, this car has all the basic necessities one can ask for, with a good engine beneath the hood, earning the HRV a 5 out of 10 for overall amenities. Add the theory at a grand total of 70 out of 130, divided by 13 categories is 5.38. Overall, the HRV falls a little beyond the median of the lemon list, tying for 24th of the 38 vehicles I reviewed thus far. For the sake of comparison, the 2020 HRV beats out both the 2018 Hyundai Tucson and 2012 Honda Pilot by two points. The HRV had a much better driving experience and interior than the Tucson, while it got better MPG and had a better interior than the Pilot as well. As previously mentioned, if you're in the market for a simplistic, pleasant, compact SUV, the HRV is a great option for you. As a truck person, this thing is just an enjoyable little car, which is probably why I see so many of them on the road. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, it is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for more reviews coming in the next couple of weeks, and as always, thank you for watching.